Hello guys, this is Dabson Ishmael. In today's tutorial, let's take a look at how to work with Toast in version 15 of WYSIWYG Web Builder. Toast serves as some kind of um, push notification that you can actually use in WYSIWYG Web Builder version 15. So let's take a look at how to go about this. To start with or to get started with, let's go to the toolbox and then you search for Toast. So here I have Toast under the jQuery UI slash bootstrap set of tools. So I'll just draw in here to have my toast and before I continue let me just go ahead and then preview this in the browser so we take a look at how the toast behaves so as you can see once I previewed it you have the toast in here which in a way becomes some kind of push notification and version 15 of Visible Web Builder so you realize after some time it disappears so that's based on the um, properties that has been set to it so let's come back into it and see how to go about it so once you have the toast um, tool here, to edit the text content in it, you simply double click in here and then you can go ahead to populate it with the text you want to use for your toast. So let me just go ahead and then populate it with this um, text. You can go ahead and then format it. You can select the font you want to use. You can change the color for it. So let's just say maybe this is going to be this particular color. You can go ahead and do that. You can go ahead and then space it and so on. So just like you'll be working with text, you can go ahead and then implement or apply formats to it. So adding space, increasing font size and so on. Now, once you are done working with the text aspect, you probably want to configure the toast to be able to serve the purpose you want. So to be able to go about that, you simply double click at the top section over here to get into the properties of the toast. So once you come to the toast properties, you have a couple of options in here. You have general tab and then the style tab, the box shadow tab, as well as the CSS3 animation tab. So a lot of the options happens under the general tab. Right under the general tab, you have the show delay, you have the hide delay, you have the title, subtitle, and so on. So let's take a look at them one after the other. So the show delay is actually the duration at which it is going to take for your toast to appear once you preview it in your browser and then the high delay is going to be the duration it's going to take for your toast to disappear once it is shown in your browser and then you have the title so the title is what we have in here so you can go ahead and then change this to something else and then you have the subtitle which is at the top right hand side at this section here so you can go ahead and then change that as well so you can change the font um, properties of the header which happens to be this particular text. So you can go ahead and then change the font type, that um, the color as well as the background color for this whole section in here. And then you can go ahead and then make it bold, italic and so on. Then you can change the pattern around this particular text as well. And then when you come to the icon section, under normal circumstance, you realize we don't have any icon in here. But when we go ahead to select an icon, let's just say maybe this one, and click on OK and then we go ahead and click on OK again an icon comes to this particular section of our header so let's just double click and come back so with the icon also you can change the properties of it you can change the color you can change the um, icon size here so let's just go ahead and then change the color to um, something else let's just say maybe red and um, I think so let me just go ahead and then I think font or some is going to be fine click on OK it seems it's not changing but it's supposed to actually apply or um, change the color of this particular icon in here mind you this is a new release of version 15 of visual web builder for some um, for the first week or first two weeks it's likely to encounter some hitches when you are working with it so you probably don't have to fully switch from version uh, version 14 to 15 because it was really um, newly released so you have to take your time to be able to study a couple of times before maybe after a week or two you go ahead to fully um fully upgrade to the version 15. so um because i started using it um and then i realized there were a couple of issues and challenges i was facing with some of the tools and then also i think there was a release of um that's a an update for it which should be today let me just check to see if it's um what i'm using now so that's it yeah so that this i'm actually recording this video on the 4th of july so this was an update which was released today to solve a couple of issues i'm sure 
most of the issues which are going to be encountered are going to be resolved and in this particular week or the next week coming so let's come back into the properties of it so we have the properties for the icon so when we come to the star the star affects the entire toast we have in here so if we go ahead to change the color of this to something else this is going to affect the entire toast we have in here so that's under the style tab so we can change or apply a border to our toast as well as we can um, select you know if we have any um, defined style we've set we can go ahead and then select it to apply to our entire toast and then we can set box shadow as well as css3 animations to our toast in here now there's one important um, option i'd probably want to draw your attention to which has to do it the show delay in here by default you have zero which doesn't take so much time or right after you um let's say preview this it's going to display in here because we have the um, show time to be very very low or it's actually nothing so it's, it's supposed to show just like um just as you can see in here now should in case you want a situation whereby you will be able to control the toast that is it's um displaying and then um, disappearing with some kind of event what you have to do is to come back to the properties in here and then you change the show delay to negative one so once you do this there's no way it is going to show until an event is met so let me just go ahead and then preview this and then you realize that it's not going to show because we've um, set the delay to negative one which uh, means nothing so as you can see we don't have our toast in here so let's go ahead and then use an event to control this so let me come to the toolbox clear my search and then let's let me just get an icon so let me just search for an icon which i'm going to apply the event to so let me just double click on this come to event and then i'm going to hit on add so under add this is going to be on click so once i click on the icon it is going to show this particular tool so the event or the action i'm going to have in here is going to be show so that's what i'm going to have in here and then i'm going to go ahead to select the tool so this is the tool i want to use i'll go ahead and then click on ok and then click on ok so let me just go ahead and then preview this again and then once i click on the icon we should have our toast in here and then after the duration which has been set for the toast it is just supposed to disappear so as you can see that's how to get started with the toast um object or two in version 15 of wizzy request builders so let me just go ahead and then try this one more time so click on this it shows and then after the specified um, duration it is going to um, be hidden so that's just about it i think let me just come back to see if there's anything more that has to be uh, i'll probably have to look at before ending this tutorial um, there's one more um, important um, option which is the position so the position allows you to specify where on your page or in the browser you want to have the toast display so you have um, top right by default you can go ahead and then change it to any of the options available in here so that's just about it for toast in version 15 of wizzy grab builder thank you very much for watching bye for now